Hi guys. Um, <clears throat> so I was going to finish doing some video editing today because I am very far behind in my video editing. But because I am starving and I cannot eat while I do video edits, I'm going to make some sandwiches and eat them while I do my Schmodown reaction video to the championship match. The singles championship match between Sam Levine and Rachel Cushing. Um, I again, I skipped over the pre-interviews and I'll skip over the post-interviews. You got to go to the link for that. But the pre-interviews were really cool this year. This year, this this episode, the pre-interviews were really cool. They kind of did a montage of both of their wins, and it was it was pretty neat, and I liked it a lot. Uh, so. Let's go ahead and get started on the schmodown. My money, I think I'd have to put it on Rachel. But that's only because she's like the crusher. But it's all Sam's also a great competitor, so I think it could go either Ladies way. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the movie trivia schmodown. Five rounds for the singles championship of the world. Introducing first, representing the Fife Club, with a record of four wins, one defeat, and three knockouts. She is the 2017 Rookie of the Year and the number one contender, Rachel the Crusher. There's her manager, Emma Fife. Now, and there's her partner, Clark Woman, Mark and Drake of the Fife Club here. And there is the number one contender, the Crusher. Taking the moment here, Ken. She's hugging Fife and Draco. Now, this is a, this is a faction. This is a faction of good. This is a faction of good. Oh, good, good. You see this? Good, good for them. Oh, now, but look at that. Well, Rachel the has come a long way. She has, and she's getting ready for it. They're waiting. The crowd's ready. They're ready she's for it. Everybody's looking. Indicating that Sam Levine and going to. There it is. Sam the crush is Levine. there. The crush and Sam Levine. She is ready. She knows that the fans are ready. And Emma Fife, this team has only been together. This faction has been together for weeks. And they look like they've been together for years. It's incredible. So this is a big, big, big match. And they're all standing in. Look at this. I love this. Wow. And her opponent. Representing above the line. With a record of eight wins. Four defeats and one knockout. He is the 2017 Singles Player of the Year, Overall Player of the Year, the 2017 Ultimate Schmodown Team Winner, the 2017 Ultimate Schmodown Winner, and the reigning, defending movie trivia Schmodown Champion of the World, What an intro. There's the champion. There is the champion. All those credits that Sam got is good. That is a bunch of that. Uh, <laughs> he's pretending. He's jinxed He's jinxed her. He's jinxed her. He's jinxed her. He is jinxing her. He is jinxing her. Because I know Sam. Sam wouldn't touch the belt if he wasn't champion. He wouldn't yeah. touch it. So he knows that it is. And I, I love the respect of the Fife Club kind of walking yeah, out, man. being there for their competitor. Fife Club and They were very nice. Much nicer than those Lions Den douchebags. Yes. <laughs> for once, we agree. I mean, you know, see? There you go. You deserve it. You deserve I it. I don't. We, I, you deserve it. You deserve it. I wasn't there. All right. Day. We were there. It's spectacular. Okay, here we go. So, round number one, the championship match works like this. The competitors will get eight questions worth one point a piece. They will answer it. They will show their whiteboard to the camera. They will say it at the same time. 15 seconds to answer. Do not forget about the JTE rule. Do not forget about your challenge rule. The champion, are you ready? Yes, I am ready. <laughs> the challenger, are you ready? Let's do this. And let's get ready to Schmoda! <laughs> All right. 
Round number one begins question number one. In the realm of fantasy sci-fi, what 2015 sci-fi film starred George Clooney, Hugh Laurie, and Britt Robertson? Have you seen a sci-fi film? I got, no, no, no. I got nothing for you. It's fine. Five. Thank you. I love Hugh Laurie, and I'm surprised I don't know this. I away one day, two. One, Sam. It'll be Tomorrowland. That is correct. Rachel. He's in there? I don't. Right. Yeah. I need to watch it. Second question comes in the category of comedies. Comedies. What comedy is a fictional story that follows the real-life fixer, Eddie Mannix, working in the Hollywood film industry in the 1950s, investigating a missing actor? Actor. It's something that you would do. You'd make somebody missing. Yeah. Who framed Roger Rabbit? Five, four. Three, no, because there wasn't a missing two. actor. Repeat the question. All I don't right. know. Categories comedy. What comedy is a fictional story that follows the real life fixer Eddie Mannix working in the Hollywood film industry in the 1950s investigating a missing actor? Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Rachel? That's the Coen Brothers movie. Couldn't pull the title. Sam. It's called Hail Caesar. Hail Caesar. Hail so Caesar. Sam Champion right. goes up by one. Two, one. Two, one. Sam has the lead. Question three is dramas. Dramas. Donald Gleason is a young wannabe musician. He joins an eccentric pop band led by a mysterious singer in which film? General Hawks. I, I pay respects to General Hawks. Yeah. Yeah. That's fair. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Sam? This is not correct. Ricky in the flash. Incorrect. Rachel? Frank? That's, That's correct. correct. Oh. It's again. Nice. Ties it up. Nice, Rachel. All right. Question four comes in the category of horror thriller. Horror thriller. What 90s thriller had the tagline, Paul Sheldon used to write for a living. Now he's writing to stay alive. Um... Mercy. Back in their brains. I think. Five. And scribbling. Four. So Stephen King. Three. Where she two, breaks his ankles. One. Pens down. For his legs. Sam. Uh, misery. That's correct. correct. Rachel. Oh. 1408. I know. Didn't have it. Okay. So Sam goes back. I'm up, at misery. To the next question. It's mercy. Action adventure. Action adventure. Idiot. Who took over the role of Jack Ryan in the 2014 spy thriller reboot, Jack Ryan Shadow Recruit? Hard to even tell jokes at this point. I, 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 I don't even want. Tom Cruise, wasn't it? Four, three, two, one. Rachel. Chris Pine. Correct. Chris Sam. He's so handsome, oh. Chris Pine. Uh, Sam's keeping the lead here. Four, three. As we get I almost question. said Chris Pine. Sixth too. question comes in the category Man. of crime. Bad day crime. for me. What actor was nominated for an Academy Award for his portrayal of James Jem? Excuse me, James Jem Coughlin in 2010's The Town. Hmm. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. And Sam. Jeremy Renner. Correct. correct. Rachel. Jeremy Renner. That is correct. Man, the, toad crowd, toad. the crowd is tense. Yeah, you can feel it's, it. They're just throwing it. jabs yeah, at each other. It was yeah. Sam just with a little bit of the edge here. Next question here is animated. Animated films. Who composed the score for The Incredibles? Um... Michael Giacchanio or whatever. I did not know this. I don't know. I didn't know. Yeah, well, now you know. Yeah. Five, four. He does a lot of Pixar. Three, two, one. Pens down, please. Rachel. Michael Giacchino? Correct. I'm going to give it to don't myself. Have, didn't have it. Oh, it. Oh, it. Tied up. Bigs. Yeah. And once again, animated being a thorn in Sam's right. side. Yep. As we get that was to more, you know, I think, I scores understand. and soundtracks than it was animated, so thanks. <laughs> it's an animated Both. film. No, no, no. I wouldn't have gotten it either way, no oh. matter which category it was in. That's All right. If you're ready for your eighth and final oh, question. Eighth and final question comes in the category of directors. Directors. Who directed the Grand Budapest Hotel? No idea. They both looked like, okay, okay, finally they got one. Yeah. It was a little easier for them. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Sam. He still should have cast me in Royal Tenenbaums. Wes Anderson. Uh, that is correct. And uh, Rachel. Wes Anderson. It's correct on both, both, both answers. Both, absolutely. I would, 
Royal Tenenbaums being one of my favorite. Yes. Okay, so Absolutely. it is a tie game, 6-6, six, six, as we thought it would be. First round, 6-6, six, six, second round of this five-rounder, and here we go. It is the wheel round. The wheel's going to come out, and the competitors will spin the wheel. They will choose again if they don't like the first one. There is no opponents and spinners on this one. The champion has opted against it. That was his choice to do so. No spinners, no opponents' choice. So we will. they will have a chance to spin again if they don't get what they want the first time. Time. Two points for each question, four questions. You can go to multiple choice, can steal from your opponent, 15 seconds to answer, and a wheel slice for today's match was sponsored by one of our Schmodown patrons on patreon.com slash Schmodown, and the sponsored wheel slice for today's match is Festival Darlings. Ooh. That is one selected wait, from... Wait, I think I hear Bibiani weeping in the back alley. <laughs> oh, wow, that was... Oh, man, that's, too soon, too <laughs> soon. That's okay. a good one, Sam, I enjoy. So here we go. Now, round number two, we have the champion. It is tied, but you are the champion. Would you like to go first or second? Uh, I will defer and let the lady go first. All right, the defer. What a right. Here we go, Rachel Cushing is on the board. Here we go, Rachel, give it a good spin, please. Spin Crusher is, is up. Spin is oh, in. Oh, and there he goes at 2000s. Ben Bateman had a problem with that one. All right. I didn't even realize it was gone. And it is fast. Fantasy sci-fi. Fantasy sci-fi. Sci sci I was going to say, she'd probably All right, go so with... Rachel is going to go wouldn't. with fantasy sci-fi. Um, and Which is weird, because it's one of my favorites. Fantasy sci-fi. <laughs> and boy, is she going to be happy she chose fantasy sci-fi to start because the first question More is, what is the name of the dwarven king of Moria whose tomb is found in Fellowship of the Ring? Fallen. Two points. That's right. Two points. <laughs> All right. Question two. In 1981's Clash of the Titans, Perseus uses what to turn the crack? Medusa's into head. Stone? Medusa's head. Two Send points. both two Clash of the Titans, points. actually. Wow. In Flash Gordon. What football team does Flash play for? The New York Jets. Two points. <laughs> With a speed run. And your last question. Who summed up Luke's quest to become a Jedi Knight as just delusions of grandeur? Han Solo. Two more points for Rachel Cushing. 14-6, crushing, crushing the second round. But now the champion is up, and he is looking to have very quick. as good as a second round. But Rachel Cushing delivered on hey, that. That was really impressive. <laughs> Here's a spin. Sam Levine has a lot of strengths on that wheel as well, so I think that he's looking happy. He's going to be looking for 80s movie release dates, as we know. 80s isn't even on there, so never mind. Good work, Christian. And Martin Scorsese. Oh, Martin Scorsese. Mm. It's, uh, it's, it's a one that he it's might... A deep one, you know. Yeah, there's other ones he's aiming for. Surprising. What's he going to go for? He's Samson gonna go Faye. again. I, I think that's a good this. decision he's, in a title match. He's there, done Christian. it before. <laughs> he <laughs> walks away. As the spin is in. The spin is in. And getting in his steps we, today. We haven't seen anybody walk away from the wheel this many times since Dagnino back. Oh. Oh. Watch your language. You Sorry. <laughs> you doing fantasy sci-fi again? It I like. Martin no, Scorsese. Martin Scorsese. <laughs> all right, so we're going to. It's Martin. as if I made no decisions at all today. <laughs> I got a four in this category. Four in this category. That belt's going to look so good on her. Oh, stop it. Second round. All right. First of four. In what Scorsese film will you find the character of Max Cady? I know my name. Five. Multiple choice. Four. Cape Fear. That's nice. correct for two points. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Sybil Shepard plays campaign worker Betsy in which Scorsese film? Taxi Driver. That's correct. Two more points. <laughs> Who stars as New York City paramedic Frank Pierce in Bringing Out the Dead? Nicholas Cage. That's Nick right. Cage. Two more points there. Can he be perfect? What Scorsese film takes place in the five points section of New York City? 
Gangs of New York. That is correct. So we tied once again. It is now the second, Finch roll over second round, and Cushing had a great second. The champion had a great second. They were tied in the first. They're tied in the second, and we go to the third round, which is the betting round. The third round is the betting round. The champion's going to go ahead and spin the wheel. God's sake. And whatever comes up, the competitors will have a chance to put down points. They can put down points. They will have a, an upwards of three points that they can bet. They can do as low as zero if they want. Champion is up. Sam, go ahead and spin. Yeah, I will say he's one of the best spinners he's got a in great the league. Spin. He's, he's got, got a great, great spin. spin. His spin was very intimidating yeah. when I played him back. Yeah. It's a solid rotation. A lot of colors flying around. It's like you did acid at Bernie, man. It's fun. Rachel already scored double what I scored at this, yep. at this spectacular. See? Oh, dude, are you friends with a real robot? What? Oh. No, man. It's my service. Oh, that's not awesome, though. Maybe you should switch to a more reliable network. Switch just like that? Mm-hmm. Give your wireless. And it's fun. Rachel already scored double what I scored at this, yep. at this spectacular. We are. Oh, and we're going to. Oh, 2000. 2000. 2000. 2000s will be the question. So go ahead and write down the amount of points you guys are going to bet. And we will be giving the question. Okay, here we go. What's the film starring Jamie Foxx, Chris Cooper, Jennifer Garner? It's about a team of government agents who are sent to investigate the bombing of an American facility in the Middle East. This is terrible. Five, four, oh, I didn't bet any points. Three, two, one. We start. Champion, how many points did you bet? I bet three. And you t t had? The kingdom. That is That's correct. That's 17. Points. Rachel, how many points? Two points, and I said kingdom. Ooh, okay. All right, so, but keep space. So we have okay. 17, 16. Rachel Cushing, because she bet one point less. I think less. that. If I were Sam, I would only have one point to bet, so I would bet one. If I were Rachel, I would have five points. So I would bet two, in which case. My score is now zero for Sam and three for Rachel. Okay. He's now down by one. He's now down by one. So we get into round number four. That is the speed round. This is where the champion has been incredible. Rachel has not been to this round before, so we're going to figure out exactly how she is as we get to... She basically just did a speed, speed round, round in the round two. Speed round. You are going to get five questions. Five questions. Speed round worth one point apiece. One point apiece. If you buzz in, you have to answer within two seconds or you lose a point. When you buzz in you get and you get it correct, one point. All right, Sam, you ready to go? Yep. Rachel, you ready to go? Yep. Okay, <clears throat> question one. This Steven Spielberg film came out in 1982. E.T. Correct. Drew Barrymore was in E.T. Question two, I'll ask, I'll, you asked the last two. Okay. Question two, who portrayed Mark Zuckerberg in? Sam. Jesse Eisenberg. Damn. Correct. That's correct. Question three. Sam's really good at the suit. Name the 1995 movie starring Gene Hackman and Denzel Sam. Crimson Tide. Two more points. Oh, one more point for Sam. And then, all right. What was the nationality of the Russian. terrorists in Die Hard? Sam. Sam. They were Sam. German. That's one correct. Point. And final question. Fifth and final one. This actor starred as Detective Axel Foley. In the Sam. Eddie Murphy. Ooh, that's correct. Sam's the theme. Okay. Absolutely annihilating that, that, that speed round there. He got five points. Yeah. Five points there, and he has a six-point lead now on Cushing. They were tied, and because of that speed round, he goes up as we get into the fifth and final round. Here we go. Fifth and final round works like this. The competitors will have three questions. Three questions here, and it'll be, well, the first one will be worth two. The second one worth three. The third one worth five points. Fifteen seconds to answer the question. Sam, you have the lead here. What three numbers from 1 to 20 will you pick? Uh, 3, 12, and 8. 3, 12, 8. Rachel? 2, 7, 19. 2, 7, and 19. Rachel will be up first, trying to avoid the TKO here as we get into round number 5. All right, Rachel Cushing had category number 2. Category number 2. Rachel, that's directors. Directors for two points. Who directed Flags of Our Fathers? Clint Eastwood. For two points, Rachel Cushing. All right. 
Rachel Cushing now, number seven. Number seven. Crime films. Crime films. Tom Hardy plays identical twin gangsters who terrorized London during the 1960s in which film? Legend. For three points. three points. So now Rachel Cushing, in order to stay in the game, needs to hit her five-pointer. If she does it, it bounces back to Sam. If she does not, Sam will have his first title defense and his sixth consecutive victory. Angelina Jolie <laughs> is your five-pointer. Which movie cast Angelina Jolie as the mother of Crispin Glover's character? Come on, Rachel. Five, four, three, two. Repeat the question. Right. Which movie cast Angelina Jolie as the mother of Crispin Glover's character? Two. Repeat the question. Let's which which movie cast Angelina Jolie as the mother of Crispin Glover's character? Five, four, three, two. Charlie's Angels. And yeah. your winner by way of technical knockout. For Beowulf. Beowulf, Beowulf, Beowulf was the answer. Beowulf was the answer. Beowulf All right, was that the is a Jolie. deep cut for a five-point question, but that is what you want at the time. The five-pointer, and man, that started out. I mean, listen, it was a scrap. Rachel, obviously, very upset. It was, a, it was. Listen, that was a that was a tough, tough loss there. That's wild. Well, anyway. Um, well, Rachel, if it makes you feel better, if you had been playing me, you would have absolutely destroyed me. Because had I been Sam, my score would be negative one. And that's a new low for me. Had I been Rachel, I would have gotten a two. Two points. So, either way, Sam and Rachel absolutely destroy me. Um, oh, it was a great match, though. That speed round really did hurt Rachel. But other than that, you know, she was almost perfect with her questions. And I'm probably going to hear Frankie talk about it at the end when I watch the post-interviews. But wild. Um, shoot, what else was I going to say? Oh, Rachel's faction or Emma's, Emma Fife's faction. That's going to be... A great faction. I'm so excited for the Fife Club. You got Andrako, Rachel, and Clark already, and Sam Worthington. Oh, not Sam Worthington, Sam Whitwer. What? You got Sam Whitwer. Oh, no, I just watched Avatar the other day, so I, Sam Worthington's on my mind. But Sam Whitwer, not Sam Worthington. So it's going to be a fun year. And I'll see all you guys later. Have a great day. When 900 years old, you reach. Look as good you or not. Hmm? <laughs>